We picked up the target in the surf line and with Bruce on the helm towed her back to Mackenzie's new pontoon, Slip Area. A jet skier was not an MBA supporter, which is a bargain at $85 a year, so the inevitable paperwork had to be done, followed by a short lecture on the advantages of having a reliable method of communication on board. This person was fortunate on being washed ashore, but the outcome could have been worse if there had been an offshore wind. If you had broken down and you're drifting away out to sea, or whatever you plan to do, the wind can have a good idea. So it's always a good way of having fun with it. Yeah, very good. Yeah, it's good. Well done, everybody. We use the port side engine, so your natural tendency will be to go to space. Avoid going in neutral. Anything other than you might get tangled up or something. A bit more speed, just a bit more. Because you're at the mercy of the elements. On dropping off the grateful jet skier, Bruce then spent a few minutes honing up on his helming skills in the river prior to docking Rotary 3 at the air dock. That's it, neutral. Thanks, Jake. Beautiful. Yeah, it's good. Good forward a bit, Bruce. Six inches. Yeah, stern light on. Rings on, all lights are on. Later that day as the evening closed in, a crew had a pre-planned night training exercise. Our radio room then sent these coordinates over to our main seagoing rescue vessel Lulaba Rescue. Rescue's task was to locate Rotary 3, assess the situation, take her in tow and then once in the river raft up and bring the target vessel to a place of safety. So that's the 10 at sea and at night, things can seem very different, and on this occasion the training exercise was executed well and lessons learnt. <laughs> 